folks, this is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures. Terrible with the lighting here. <laughs> I am with John Ortlieb. Fire it up, buddy. I am with John Ortlieb. The last time I filmed John shooting a buck was 26 years ago. It, or 27. It's one or the other. And it was a button buck. And I will provide a link for you to be able to watch that at some point. We are in Iowa right now, and it just so happens my buddy John works as a guide. He works for an outfit, White Oaks Lodge in Iowa. So we're gonna go over to the lodge. I'm gonna show you the lodge before we go out hunting. We gotta hurry up though. We're running late, let's do this. This is White Oaks Lodge. So my buddy John, like I said, guides. And uh, Eric Morey runs the business. He's the owner. He's the owner. I don't, is he gonna be making an appearance at all? Probably not. All right. We will probably not get to meet Eric in this video. So you'll have to come to White Oaks Lodge if you draw a, a tag. This is zone five in Iowa. We're gonna go inside. Yeah, my boots are dirty. Oh, it should be all right, but I'll kick him off. Turn on some lights. Folks, what you may not know is that when I came to Iowa as a non-resident 2015, I stayed at White Oaks Lodge while I hunted. I hunted all public land, but I stayed at White Oaks. Look at that beautiful mount right there. The kind of bucks you see out here in Iowa. You know, it's funny. Um, when I stayed here, I was by myself because there were no hunters in camp that week, so they let me stay at the lodge. So I was doing dishes like every day. And now that I live in Iowa, I literally think about standing in this kitchen right here, putting dishes in the dishwasher right here every time I do dishes every time and i've been living in iowa for four years now so here is the the living room area let's take, let's take a look at the box here a little bit first some of these nice box hair a uh, really nice relaxing living room and john gets to come clean and freshen up every time the hunters leave i bet you love that huh john oh but let's, let's not forget this big guy over here now, you gotta come to White Oaks Lodge to hear the story about every one of these bucks. And then uh, you got a couple, several bedrooms. The clock's not set in that one. And then this is a bath. Where's our light switch? It's not too bright. Here's another switch. So you got your shower. There's me right there holding this camera. And you got this bathroom over here. Uh, let's see, where is the light switch? There, on the nice shower here. There's me again. Yeah, it's, it's basically Sean set up for four hunters. So four hunters? Two hunters per room, two hunters share a bathroom. And you know, that's how it's- Now, set. here's a question. So you guys typically start running hunters the end of October? Yes. Depending on the calendar year, you know, that's when everybody wants to come to Iowa. Right. And uh, you, yeah, we should talk to Eric, but you know what would be cool is, because I know a lot of my viewers are public land hunters. If anyone draws a zone five tag, let us know. Maybe if you're coming out first week of October, you know, maybe he'll rent you some a place to stay. You know, you yeah, can, there's, maybe. Yeah, this is way better than a hotel. Oh yeah, this is. This is this is and as where it's at. Is, we're not far away from. Oh, there's pretty public big land. Chunks of game land. There's public land all over here. This is like this is where I stayed and hunted when I was a non-resident, and it's well. I will put a link for some of those videos in the description. of This I have a long one that's like an hour long. Dude, I was passing on 130s every day, just about 125, 130 inch bucks. That was during a rut though, so you, you got to hunt them differently in the beginning of October. But yes, you know you could come out during the summer rent the lodge and scout and then Absolutely. you come back out in october rent the lodge maybe but obviously that would have to be before the hunters come in but 
We, we, this is enough talking. We got to go get ready to yeah. hunt, dude. Oh, the other thing is, too, and Sean can elaborate more on this, but like even spring turkey. Yes. Uh, we, um, I mean, we have some hunters come in, but it's not a big draw yet. Right. But there's so many turkeys, and, you know, we could work out an arrangement where yeah. you could hunt our farms. Okay. And stay here. Okay. For and I have to throw this in, literally, and this is not an exaggeration. When I pulled onto the road and was driving up to, to the lodge here, two long beards ran off they were they were in a field right right next to the road and i was like two long beards right yeah. there so there, I, there I, a lot i'm, of turkeys I'm gonna make a prediction that we will see turkeys tonight yeah because this farm that we are gonna hunt tonight for deer is infested with turkeys i okay. saw i hunted that farm last night and i saw between 60 and 70 turkeys okay last night so and the other thing too um i don't know if it, we can just pretend this is an Airbnb, folks. Uh, if you want to come out during the summer, Lake Rathbone, is that Rathman. the Rathman. Rathman. It's like 20 minutes. 20 minutes, maybe. Fishing. You could come out, do your turkey scouting, fishing. Anyhow, um, we'll have to get a way for them to contact. You know what? Website he, is almost finished. There's a website coming. It's not... By the time you're watching this video, it might actually be done. You never know. Yes. White Oaks Lodge is, what's the name of the White way? Oaks Lodge, Iowa. Okay. White Oaks Lodge, Iowa. Is it going to be like a dot com? Uh, yes. Okay. Folks. So, let's go hunting. Let's go hunting. Right.
maybe I'll chase them back here. Right.
I'm sick. John was really hoping to have an encounter with a nice big drop time buck he had on trail camera. When these last two does of the evening appeared, we were hoping maybe he would make an appearance to check him out. Oh, John, back at the truck. Give us the final lowdown on what just happened, man. Well, I'm sick now. <laughs> um, but, you know, to be honest with you, you know, I saw that deer out on the edge of the field making a scrape. And when he came in, <clears throat> I, I hope it shows up on the video, but I turned and said to Sean, not a shooter. Uh -huh. And it, it took him a while to come through just, you know, like 10 yards of like yeah. a little bit of cedars and pin oaks. Yeah. And then once he kind of got out and he, he did turn his head, um, like not, you know, broadside to me. And I was able to see, you know, his fours and, and his main beams. And I was like, shooter. Yeah. I, um, heard you say that. I did not see the split on his G2. It must have been behind a twig or, yeah. or, or something. And, you know, I, you know, he was going so slow and he was so relaxed, you know licking branches yeah. and, and just and it's like all he's going to do is step out on the logging road and it's going to be a slam dunk 15 right. yard shot right and as soon as he stopped and it, he looked at the two does that were across the railroad uh the, the track the old rare uh road bed and for whatever reason he just decided to take off towards them i mean you know yeah it, it, the rut's not going on i, I mean it's obviously they're 26. interested yeah they're interested yeah but for him to take off like that and grunt and carry right, on and yeah. chase and that really surprised me to yeah. act like that on that caliber of a buck. Like yeah. if it was a six pointer, then yeah, I right. I could see that all day long. But uh, but what are you gonna do, you know, folks? That's um that's the type of properties that they manage out here. And they got a bunch of different properties that they you manage and hunt and stuff like that and. Uh, you know if you're looking to do a hunt you got to start putting in for preference points in iowa because you're going to need about five. five to draw in zone five uh but but start working on it if that's something you want to experience i mean that second buck then what was he nine pointer yeah um i mean there's a lot of people who are watching right now who would have thought of that as a buck of a lifetime and i mean obviously after seeing the one right before him you're, you're not even gonna you know consider shooting at that yeah with what you know you have a potential of right. i mean a customer could I mean, what was what's the minimums that well, we have a, one, a 140 minimum right so, so that, that he would have been borderline it was, maybe i think he would have been light he was very short time I mean, yeah. he had a nice frame but he had short times right um and to be honest with you i mean it's it's not always about the score of the deer right um, the age it, the age of the deer is crucial right. i mean you know maybe that deer i don't think he was a big old giant no you know um i didn't absorb his body that much because i'm trying to focus on the right. the shooter buck but um you know there's a lot of deer out here that are just you know five-year-olds that never grow more than 135 40 yeah. inches and you know typically we know about them through trail cameras but and it comes into the hunters making a decision too right um that like man that's a big old giant you know pushing 300 pound on the hoof animal that you could um that you could take and right. you know and um it would be fine with us right but um but the first one's the one you want there oh, well, okay there now now that we're done <laughs> <laughs> nah we can see it well hey listen i want to thank everyone for tuning in to this um, I'm gonna give you a little something special. I will uh, dig the archives. I have John's the button buck that I have him on film shooting. It's um, on one of my old videos, but maybe I'll just make another one with it and post it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. But I will provide a link for that so you can check that out. I'll also provide a link for the non-resident public land hunt I did in 2015 here in mm -hmm. Iowa. Mm -hmm. 
and then of course you know now that I live out here that's when I discovered that most of your really good hunting is down in this southern portion of Iowa I mean Iowa if you look at an aerial photo it's it's a lot it's mostly field unless you're along a river and um, it's you know there's not a lot of continuous woods in most of the state so you got to kind of hunt the southern zone I think the northeastern zone has some but I've never uh, really gone up there but anyhow that's um, that's the information uh, I'll get their website when it's ready and put it in the description section and um, if you're new to my channel make sure you get in on the giveaways I give away a bunch of stuff I, I have a I just made a web page because I was giving away so much stuff that just says giveaways. So go check that out. I'll put a link for it. Uh, until next time, take care. May the good Lord bless you.